Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick follow-up to our continuing saga on the T.J. Evans Park Ponds. You see here, that's a place where we get the city permits to go fishing. We take the granddaughter, we play with bluegills up there. Granddaughter catches bluegills and we have fun. If you'll remember, last fall, late summer, early fall, they started closing the park at dark to everybody. It used to be open to permit holders after dark so they could catfish. We began pursuing that and I didn't take much exception to it closing as the method that the so-called caretaker took in that his infamous Paul Revere ride screaming at everybody there's four or five of us there if you'll remember get out gotta go get out got to go, uh, began questioning his authority, you know, just who exactly was he? Was he a maintenance person? Was he security? Uh, and the question of authority come up. So anyway, we have been going back and forth ever since. Uh, <clears throat> this man is in and out of there all day, every day, mowing a section here, mowing a section there, You'll find out where you're fishing and go by on the lawnmower and blow grass your direction. That's dangerous. If he hits a rock or a piece of debris, hits somebody, it's going to go bad. Now, I've seen him harass people about their permits. Uh, just downright indignant about it. And okay. Well, like I said, the night that they decided to announce everybody that was closed, we... I took exception to the way he'd done it. So if you'll remember, I approached the parks director about it, started communicating with them, her. Uh, anyway, I brought up that, you know, it's not on the sign, it's not on the permit. You can see here, after I brought it up, they said it was an oversight. They took duct tape and taped over the part to where it said, except for those holding a permit. Uh, pretty cheesy. So one thing led to another, and this has been going on all winter, and a question of a flag come up. Uh, this is the flag in the park. And again, he's in and out of there every day. I don't know how many trips. Why didn't he notice this flag being in this condition? Now, this is not the first time. Two years ago, I noticed it and contacted Parks, nothing happened, I talked to a council member. And he said, I'll take care of it, and it was fixed by the next morning. You know, the flag was in worse condition than this one. With that, the flag is not lit at night, and I brought that up. Um, in going through other areas of Parks, I've noticed there's other flags in Parks and around that is not lit. Uh, <clears throat> I'll put a short video in here. I drove down into one park that was open after dark. I don't know what its exception is. And you can guess at what these people were doing over in that dark corner. Okay, why are you closing parks down with people to people that has permits and leaving the other ones wide open for this type of activity to go on. So you can see some other instances of flags, flag violations here, and like I said, this has transitioned into that. Uh, you can see the many grave flags that's in the trash barrels here at a cemetery. Our parks department is over the cemeteries also parks and cemeteries. So <clears throat> this is, like I said, is this has escalated into more. Now, today, uh, not today, this week, I go and check on the river. You know, I've done a video where they had to dredge equipment in the river where we go and fish. And there's a lot of people that night fished. And this is the sign that appears there now, closed dusk to dawn. So that's new. Uh, this parks director is going through and closing everything down. 
And my question, this is not the only one. This is the one I have pictures of, but they're appearing in other places. My question is this, and I'm waiting on an answer, their response, and ODNR. We have two rivers in town, the North Fork Licking River, the South Fork Licking River. They both converge, as you can see here, and form the Licking River, which flows into Dillon Lake and eventually the Muskingum River. And my question I put forth now, awaiting an answer, is can they close public access that gives access to public waters, you know, governed and controlled by the natural resources? Um, you know, the fishing laws and license and everything applies in those rivers. Um, I really don't know the answer to that, but I'm waiting the answer. But this parks director, she is fairly new. She has no idea what she's doing, in my opinion. And uh, I think it's a power position that's gone to her head. So anyway, just a quick update here of what is going on with this T.J. Evans Park. Now their permits go on sale or become available March 1st. I told her I wouldn't get another one and I wouldn't be back in a personal capacity. Uh, and I haven't been. Well, it's been closed December 1st anyway. But I've changed my mind. I'm going to be there bright and early March 1st. If it's a week day, I haven't even looked to see what day of the week that is yet. Uh, it's on a Friday. Good. I'll be there bright and early to get my and my wife's permit. We're going back. We're going to keep an eye on that place. She hadn't run me off, and I really had no no uh, intent for her to do so. Um, but anyway, here here is an update on where that is. This has been an ongoing saga, well, since it began. Now, we took a little time off when we had the the evil virus in the house, you know, was both down sick and we just didn't fool with anything, just getting through that. But this closing of that park, like I said, it, that wasn't the issue, it was the method they went about it. Uh, this has escalated to city council now, council members. And uh, now as a follow-up, these flags that are not lit at night, after I posted pictures on Facebook and stuff, they took the flags down until they remedied the lighting. Okay, that's acceptable. Um, Thursday, went through town to all the parks and all the flags that does not have any night lighting it has been taken down. And been assured that they're going to take care of that, so we'll keep an eye on it. So because of this alleged caretaker, he's a volunteer, he's not even a city employee, so I really question his authority. Um, due to his methodology, you know, has triggered all this. And it, some light needed shed on this. Transparency, you know, daylight, sunshine. I'm not going to stop until he, with her by his side, the parks director, apologizes to my wife on the front steps of the city building, city courthouse. That may never happen. And in that case, this will not stop. I will be there to make sure that they toe the line. If they're going to be the uber enforcers of rules and regulations, then they're going to be held to the same standard. But there's where we are. This hasn't died. We're still battling this battle with uh, Newark City Parks and cemeteries. Parks, recreation, and cemeteries, something like that. So, all right, everybody.